Good evening, Buck. Buck Balsey, how you doing? This is a little quick video on the uh, iJoy Reaper Plus. You commented on my video that you were having some issues with leaking, as so so am I, or I did. Um, and if I had any any thoughts on the matter, well, I took my Reaper and I vaped. The, the majority of the juice out of it and uh, I uh, cleaned it this evening and I have a uh, a new coil in the in the package to to put in it and but first I just wanted to talk to you about it you know about the juice wells that you turn them you turn them off and to fill it you close it and then open it to vape it now <clears throat> one of the problems I was having is that um, this was very very easy to move I mean it just I just touch it and it moved um, very very lubricated so, sort of like since I've taken it apart and cleaned it uh, for the purpose of this demonstration it, it it has some resistance to it and and that's I like that resistance because then it's a little difficult for it to move on its own and thus when you're filling it or trying to fill it up and stuff you might inadvertently move it and and not see it and that that's what I think happened to me the first time it leaked now I've had um, a subsequent leak that you know because of the first time it leaked I uh, I made sure that the airflow is closed, the bottom airflow, the top airflow, and um, the the juice well is closed. But here's what I found too: in taking this apart to clean it, I will spin this ring that is supposed to be pulled up just to expose the the fill port. Okay. Now, I don't have a problem with this filled port because I use these unicorn bottles and uh, they have um, the, the pointed tip on it. And this particular bottle from um, Adore E-Liquid uh, has a nice long tip and it reaches that very well. I'm going to... Um, fill it up in a second but these tanks when when you when you close it off and you fill them up you're pressurizing the tank now I deal with swimming pools um, and I've dealt with swimming pools for a long time and I know that they a, a swimming pool system with the pump the volute the motor the the piping and all of that is all supposed to be sealed if there's any bit of a uh, leak that air can escape any bit of a on an o-ring or a male adapter threaded male adapter or um, a, a seal over over times the adapters where they where they screwed into the pump they will the the the, the uh, medium that they use to uh, seal the threads whether it's silicone or some kind of a putty or even plumber's tape uh, in, in maneuvered around or what have you, they can get a small air gap, an ear, ear leak. And what will happen over time is the the air will start to get sucked in, and the water in the sump of the pump will go down and actually drain out the filter and everything, so that when the when the person, the homeowner, goes to start it or it's on a timer it's sucking just air it takes a long time to prime and sometimes it just the pump won't prime so it eventually does damage and stuff what I found too is in manipulating this is that this red uh, rubber for lack of a better term of it moves it's just an o-ring and it it will move and if it moves on you and it's not sealing correctly right there if it looks a little scrunched up as a matter of fact taking this apart tonight I scrunched it up and I had to spend about 15 minutes here unscrunching it getting it back 
in, in the plum. And I guess eventually, if I continue doing that, I'll screw it up. But what I've noticed too is that when you push this down, this this ring should actually settle right down to the bottom metal piece that's just above the glass. Okay, and that's how you know that that has a really good seal and that you know there's there's, there's not even that minute nano hole to allow air to get in and you know, because once air gets in this thing's going to start to basically gurgle and you you'll set it down like it happened to me i was in bed watching tv and reached over to get my mod and it was just blue with with e-juice over it was gross and i got pissed off you know and i said you know if i have to deal with this this much then this tank's not going to be worth it to me but since i found that out you know you can you can take them take them apart and uh they will they're, they're pretty it's pretty easy to do once once you do it now this is the glass and then this is these are the juice well um container and the inside of this is moved actually by your uh, bottom bottom plate so when you put all of this back you have to make sure that it's all sitting good and in flush make sure your o-rings are you know deal with the top and screw it and get it to get a nice seal and then um, I think if you keep an eye on that you will um, your juice well your hole right there will basically this is a little difficult will basically um, be okay so um, you know it's sitting it's sitting flush so um, we're just gonna uh, leave it like that I'm gonna leave it open for a second I'm just gonna uh, take this uh, coil out of this package and also I notice that this um, this O-ring that goes on here is uh, you got to watch that O-ring because like right now this O-ring is sitting in the air slots and that in itself will, will cause a leak. So now I have that positioned around there correctly. I'm going to put this sucker in the bottom plate. Somehow. A little bit of a pain in the ass, but to get her done, and obviously you know you've had sub-ohm tanks and stuff, you know to give this a good priming then layer down so basically that's it as far as what I I can figure out about the um, about the tank now like I say shut off the juice Close the airflow, top and bottom. Pull she out. Stick she in. We got some juice flowing down there. Now the juice I'm using is 90 10, 90 BG, 10 PG. And uh, it's a uh, pure peach from a Dory liquid very very tasty stuff and uh, I really like it um, so now I have it full she went down she's closed and it's sealed up perfectly now I'm just gonna open and I will get there will be some bubbles and stuff coming out all right um, Buck, I'm going to um, 
say that I hope that helps you that um, ah some nice bubbles coming out there that um, you just make sure that that top o ring is set and fine and that and in your uh, your ring that you pull up and down that goes and, and exposes that hole and there's no red uh, on the ring on the bottom because you want that to be sealed sealed good now I'm gonna put this away for a second here because I'm gonna let that um, I'm gonna let that sucker uh, prime up for a few minutes and I want to show you this one this is the the uh, the star Freemax star um, scalia tank and uh, it's a it's a beaut you know it gives me good vape it's um, the ceramic coil tank but this too you have to close the airflow this is also leaked on me several times this has an unusual instead of a uh, instead of threaded this just pushes and turns and there's some some uh, white rubber things in there that have to fill up over that and then you got to go down you got to push real good and turn it and if you don't get that sealed correctly and you turn your back on the sucker it's gonna it's gonna leak on you so um, it's not the only one to do it they all do it we just have to keep our minds and our eyes on what we're doing and uh, once it's all done and, and set and done it uh, they all vape and, and give flavor up the wazuzu so I hope you enjoy it um, check out a door e-liquid very reasonable very good um, prices and stuff and uh, thank you very much for watching the um, the video and hope to see you again soon take care of yourself now good night